That's exactly where Brad Stanton headed because he said the Japanese crowd is much different than the American. Often they politely clap and quietly watch the match. And uh, how did you react to that? And what challenges did that present for wrestling in front of this type of audience? Uh, but you just kind of outlined some of it. Uh, did it. Does it affect you, though, as far as your style or, or moves or what you're going to try? Or I mean, are, does it genuinely affect your performance in the ring, just not knowing how the crowd's going to react? Because you feed off that energy in the U.S. Well, you, th- you feel like... You're really busting your ass. You came a long way to do it. This worked every place you went in the States. Whatever this move slash whatever it is you're doing. And then you don't get a reaction at all. It uh, it confuses you for a minute. You go, wow. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try something else. And you can almost get to a panic stage to where wow maybe they just don't like me yeah <laughs> maybe they don't give a shit and that that's you know, normal to feel that way when you're when with that i'm sure well yeah i mean especially if it's your your top shelf stuff that you've been using all over the states and people have been eating it up yeah we uh we by the way i just want to throw this in here Arn. you're dealing with the bad back aren't you sciatic nerve just in case oh. people are hearing some of the sounds i know you're moving around a lot over there but your back it's just sciatic nerves acting up you were telling me before we started recording yeah it's been that way since before christmas i got an ice pack strapped to my back right now i apologize no guys. no no you're a gamer pal and i wanted to say that because i want to say i thank you for uh toughing through this so uh yeah, Arn's uh, dealing with uh, some back issues, so I appreciate you hanging in there for us. Oh, well, it's, it's been a few years. You know, it's, it's funny when, it, you know, it, it turned into this issue with my sciatica and, and all that stuff. And anybody that's had it lower back will tell you it just debilitates you. You're locked, bent over. You can't straighten up. And when you do, it's like a stabbing. Oh just a sharp stabbing pain to try to even, you know, walk from to the kitchen. And then, the, the, okay, the kitchen chairs are so hard, you can't sit there and eat. So where am I going to sit and eat and all that stuff? It's just, it just screws everything up. So yeah. I apologize, and uh, that's what's going on. I keep adjusting this. Yeah, all good. The, I just thought transpa- we like to be transparent here and, and tell them what's up. That way they know. Yeah. And, yeah. 